We're combing through the aisles of Vulcan Video, an independent video store here in Austin, Texas, to find the most obscure, the strangest, and the overlooked gems of yesterday. This is the Vulcan Vault. Welcome to the Vulcan Vault. We got a great one today with Max. Max, what have you picked out for us? Well, today, John, I've gone back to the 80s and picked a music documentary that uh, kind of, when you think rock and roll, you think of this name. And it was a film that looks at the, uh, the life and the career of uh, performers that really set the world on fire. You mean the complete Beatles? No, no. Did I say performers? I meant performer. I meant Weird Al. The complete Al from 1985 is my pick for today. Um, and in, as a parody of the complete Beatles, which came out a few years earlier, the complete Al is a very dry uh, mockumentary and a take on the complete Beatles that looks at Weird Al from his uh, young life living in Linwood, California, uh, getting an accordion for the first time, and then his rise to stardom. And so we've got, uh, written by him, as well as uh, Jay Levy, his longtime manager, and Robert K. Weiss, who was a producer for like a Cookie Fried Movie, Blues Brothers, Police Squad, a lot of comedy throughout the years, as well as director, co-director on uh, some of Weird Al's better music videos. Uh, it's this look at basically, you know, where we uh, came from, Linwood, California. More years passed like the warm winds following a sumptuous chilly dinner when he got his accordion roughly seven years old I um, mean you know he was a high school valedictorian he went on to college to become an architect but got waylaid with uh, his talent for accordion his love of doc the Dr. Mento show and time as a college DJ he uh, got the non her weird owl you want to hear you light up my life by Debbie Boone all right another instant request I went everybody's heard about the bird, 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 bird. And so he recorded in the bathroom across the hallway from the, from the radio station, My Bologna, and got him the attention of his manager, which in this is this, uh, in the film, is a very Broadway Danny Rose kind of guy who, you know, it's his first time, he's his first time managing a pop musician act and stuff, and uh, he's very surprised when, uh, when it hits big. Are you ready to join the roster of Ronzoni International Superstars and make millions of dollars? Okay. And uh, he hit, Weird Al hits big because at the, he goes and asks the permission of Michael Jackson to do Eat It. So most of the film is a collection of sketches and gags uh, parodying the rise of fame as a musician. Weird Al is always mobbed by tons of fans and stuff. Uh, and uh, you know, he, in, one, in the opening segment, he burns his accordion on stage a la Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> The line between him being portrayed as the biggest thing ever, there's a bunch of direct scenes that parody stuff in the Complete Beatles. Uh, fans do, uh, making paintings for Al or selling his, uh, his, his, his used dental floss or uh, people selling a bunch of uh, overpriced merchandise and souvenirs to Weird Al's. There's a great, uh, there are four people in this movie dressed up as Weird Al Yankovic. There's, a, uh, there's this dude who, who charges $2 uh, for a photo for what the Weird Al look alike. And then later on in the film, uh, people are pitching uh, Weird Al and his manager ways to, to, to do more merchandising and stuff and there's one guy who says like this is a Weird Al Yankovic look-alike kid like my kids get my kids and family get hours of enjoying they turn like the whole family is dressed up as Weird Al he's like uh, it also that sequence uh, leads to one of the most adult gags that, in Weird Al's career there's a guy it's it's the guy actually it's the hot dog dude from The Happening he's like oh hot dogs are good. it's that guy he is pitching a set uh, an edible bikini Worn by this model and with Weird Al's faces on the on the bra and panties, and on the endable panties, there's a quote that says, "Weird Al says, eat it," uh, which I was definitely I did not get the first time around, and I still don't really get, want to get it. Uh, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a good gag, and uh, so in in between all this linking material, there are me Weird Al's music videos, and so you know, and so it's something just like you, know, you would watch a lot of TV as a kid leads into Ricky, or but his favorite job, uh, part time job, was working at the local ice cream parlor. And I love Rocky Road. And stuff like that, and you know, really good. And just to let's talk about Weird Al's music videos for a while and how great they they are in this period. Um, I mean, it's basically you're watching a three and a half minute Mad Magazine parody come to life. Like every frame is packed with gags and stuff. And so it's really you know, dead on recreate, not dead on recreations, but I mean, some really amazing recreations. Like later after this and uh, on his album, Even Worse, Michael Jackson would donate the subway set that he used for filming Bad to do that one. But here, I mean, uh, like Eat It and uh, Eat It, Dare to be Stupid and 
like a surgeon specifically are just like kind of like so huge just every scene just like oh that's a gag that's a joke there's you know there's so many funny things that i could you know these are easily rewatched well not that his videos aren't funny now they are but it's just like th there's there's really there was really a, a magic in this time and so and this was made to promote his upcoming album dare to be stupid which is coming out and uh, also kind of cashing in on the the pretty much the, the second the end half of the film is our clips of him uh, doing Al TV when he would take over MTV using his pirate satellite dish and do there are some amazing jokes there of uh, just like the MTV new style there's one about uh, Sting being in a movie uh, ZZ Top shaving their beards on the concert scene Elvis Costello is in the process of planning his next North American tour and there's talk he'll be out on the road with the international supergroup ABBA so look for ABBA and Costello when they come to your town there seems to be a little problem with the billing, however. They still haven't decided who's on first. And then um, <laughs> there's one there's one sequence that's so great. It's um, the, the uh, Real TV is premiering the new music video for State of Shock uh, by, the Jacks, uh, by the Jacksons and with Mick Jagger. But um, the people at Epic Records couldn't get Jagger or Michael Jackson to do the video. So Harvey Leeds, one of the guys there, did the video himself. She's just like, sorry, it doesn't look that great. And so they play, and it's just, it's just it's this guy, I guess, who is Harvey Leeds, I don't know. He's, um, doing, do, singing State of Shock, just directly to the camera and like, do like setting off a smoke, uh, a smoke machine and putting on mask and stuff this whole time. And I remember just watching this transfix, just like, what? Am I watching? <laughs> this is amazing. Please, da 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 da. Oh, please, baby, please, da 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 da. She looks so great every time I see her face. She puts me in a state. Mm. State of shock. Da 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 da. That's an awesome pick. Uh, the complete Al uh, MTV, please bring back uh, Al TV. That would be awesome. Please, please. Yeah, it's been too long. And uh, maybe CBS. Uh, CBS, they have they own the rights to this. So yeah, it's not on DVD. Uh, CBS, I'm going to assume, holds the rights to it. And uh, yeah, their relationship with Al just isn't what it once was in, in terms of uh, partnership with them. He did an album with them as well, along with um, Wendy. Don't call me Walter Carlos. Uh, Weird Al. Um, uh, Peter and the Wolf Part 2 Carnival of Animals um, which is also very out of print and just mainly the reason this isn't on DVD is there's uh, clips of, of music and clips of TV shows and pictures that are just hard to clear just basically clearance issues and stuff which is unfortunate but also really good because uh, it opens with a VHS warning label that uh, about not don't pirate this VHS tape that wouldn't play as well on DVD but it's definitely something that I wish more Al fans could see and I hope people go and try to track it down Awesome. Great pick. The complete owl. Max, good choice, man. Thank good choice. So. Uh, for more news and reviews, keep checking in with anacool.com. You know I really love you, baby. Look what you've done to me, baby. Look what you